Welcome to Self Discovery Media Network, formerly known as Self Discovery Radio. Each week we bring you illuminating shows from those making a difference in the lives of others. They've taken their own journey, they're here to share their skills, their wisdom to help you on yours. You can see more about us at selfdiscoverymedia.com and please listen to our wonderful collection of shows. Our next show is Good morning, good afternoon and good evening everybody. I am Sarah Troy from Sarah's View of Life right here on Self Discovery Media. Well, it's my 7th anniversary. Seven years I have been hosting shows. It all started back April 4th in 2012 on Authentic You Media. I did live shows for 13 months and it was a wonderful training ground. But I wanted to do more, host more people, have more hosts, and just be able to branch out in different directions. So I started my own network. At the time, it was called PLV Radio, short for Positive Living Vibrations. People didn't get the PLV, so two years later, I changed it to Self-Discovery Radio. But there again, it became a little limited. Radio, what is radio nowadays? Everything is podcast, everything is online. So it was time to change the name again, and I changed it to Self-Discovery Media. I think I'll stay there. Self-discovery is the right name and media is what we're all about. All sorts of media. But first, I want to share what hosting has done for me for seven years. It has been truly inspiring, incredibly enlightening, wonderful therapy, and truly a wonderful feeling that there is some awesome humanity out there. I certainly was at a crossroads at life. I'd come across some people that were very questionable before I started this. I was at a crossroads in life where I really wasn't quite sure where to go, or even if I wanted to go on. Life was just, I don't know, every journey, every step I took, I just came across more unscrupulous people. And I was beginning to give up in humanity. But in doing these shows, in interviewing people that are truly awesome, incredible amount of strength and tenacity that they have found in their own lives through whatever they have been thrown at and then to come out at the other end and in that beautiful meaningful service are giving back to others that's the inspiring part the illuminating part you see every single one of us is on a journey in life we're all in that self-discovery of what is life all about what are we doing here what's our contribution our place we all want to be seen and heard for what we bring to the table. We're all seeking that validation of self-worth, of love, of the ability to love others. It's an incredible journey when you think about it. And I invite people to look back. Look back at the hardest struggles you've had. And then look at the strength and the courage that you found to go through them. Not around them, not avoid them, but go through them. Look who you became because of them. Look how much stronger, wiser, and more focused you are because of that journey. When I look back on mine, I think I was a roller coaster. I'm always driven by my heart and my soul. As that empathic person, I'm always, always absorbing the vibrations around me. And it got me into a lot of cosmic trouble, a lot of emotional trouble, a lot of despair. Because the more you try to help people, the more you try to do something that was good for the world, the more you came across these people that were just in it for themselves and they didn't care about anyone else. And it really got me despondent. But having done these shows now for seven years and around 1,600 shows of my own under my belt, I have truly come across people that are awesome, that are really doing some things in life that are just incredible. And it's really given me permission to be me, to have my voice. For so many lifetimes now, that voice was taken away from me. I came here to this planet to be a soul and heart igniter, lifting people up into the spirits of possibilities, understanding the knowledge that they had and the wisdom to know how to use it. But I was persecuted for many a lifetime because of those beliefs, because it went against the church, the doctrine, the control. This lifetime has been a journey of me coming back into that purpose, 
coming back and the reason that I came here. And in these shows, I have discovered myself. I have found my voice and my heart and my soul sing again in this purpose of being. When you interview people that have every single reason in the world to give up or call it quits, and yet they have stepped into and through that pain to share it with others, to show them how they got through it, what that pain was all about, what came out of it that ended up being of benefit to other people. So many people have gone through tragedies, challenges, health challenges, wealth challenges, death challenges, you name it, they've been through it. And pretty well I've interviewed people that have gone through it all. And it always leaves me in awe of how they got through it. I struggle, honestly, and I've spoken about this with depression, with anxiety. As an empath, you pick up all the vibrations around you, and sometimes they pull me down, and they become very, very challenging. And I have such admiration for people who are able to work through that and go through the other side to fulfill their purpose here on earth and, and to love who they are and what they're doing today because that truly is the illumination that we look for in others. It's been an honor to interview the people that I've interviewed, to share their life stories, that strength, that courage, that knowledge that they impart with us. I take my hat off to them. My heart feels them. I honor their presence and their contribution. Now, of course, I've interviewed people that are more in it for themselves, you know, the biggest and best book and, and coaching program, et cetera, et cetera. And I've done it because I know they're on that self journey. Their intent is good. Maybe they're not quite there, but they are speaking to people that are on that same platform and together maybe they will open up and, and, and awaken up. But I've also interviewed the people that are way out there for some people, the ascension people, people on that sixth dimension that are speaking from the cosmos, from the universe, speaking divinely and channeling through and opening up to what the knowledge we need to have. So whether it's people in that self-discovery or people who have discovered themselves, I will keep bringing you people that will illuminate and inspire your lives. Now, if you're new to this and you've never seen what we've done before, I invite you to go to www.selfdiscoverymedia.com. On the opening page, you'll see the link to all the show pages. We have many genres there with many shows on them. We have current hosts, and on that page, you'll find our past host uh, pages as well with all their shows. Just because they've left us doesn't mean their wisdom has been lost. You will also see uh, the YouTube where you can go in and watch some of the videos. We started that a year ago in April. And so up until then, it was five years of just audio podcasts. Now it's audio and video. You will see the podcast and the Google Play and the SoundCloud links where you can listen to the shows as well. When you go into SoundCloud, you will see there's a playlist and underneath that are all the genres where you can find whatever topic inspires you and all the shows that fall underneath there. We have so many. We have from uh, your health, your mental health, uh, veterans raising your children, choosing the positive living, their story matters, uh, music and um, oh my goodness, eco-solutions and, and on religion and on wellness and on recovery. There is so much there for you. Pretty well, if you've got a question, we've probably got an answer for it here in Self-Discovery Media. So if you're the first timer here, come and see us. If you're not a first timer and you just need to refresh and discover us a little bit more, dive deeper in and see what else we have there. You will also see there is the community page. If you click on that, that will lead you to our selfdiscoverycommunity.org uh, site. This is our give back site. Our desire is to find those sponsors that will sponsor the books, collective chapters from people under a particular topic. One I'm seeking for right now is somebody who will back our forgotten children, the people who work with our forgotten children, foster parents, teachers, um, children advocates, autism, will contribute to that book. That book will be sold, raising money for those organizations. But we also have the books where our coaches and service people can contribute to the book. They, of course, pay for it. 
the book will raise money to go into the fund action program that then subsidizes the services from the people in the directory, those people with services and, and coaches uh, that we have interviewed. And this is for the people that are in that redirect in life, because we know your resources are hit when you're in a redirect, whatever's happening. We want to help you get back on your feet in your self-discovery as fast as possible. We have the people that can help you, but we know the resources can hold you back. And so we want to make sure those resources are, are there for you. Everybody that uh, joins the self-discovery directory those are the people that have the services 10 percent goes into the kitty we're looking for sponsors obviously the books will help pay for it donations you name it it's about how we give back and of course self-discovery media is the platform where we do all the interviews uh, and where we step out we'll be stepping out into tutorial podcasts um, hopefully documentaries and a lot more to come but I'm wearing all the hats right now. So I'm inviting people to come and join me. Come and let's make this next seven years even more awesome. June will be six years of my own network, self-discovery, PLV, radio, <laughs> media. And, but this is my seventh year of hosting right now. I love what I do. I truly and honestly do. I love celebrating people who've embraced that redirect, who have found their strength and their courage, who are now sharing it with others so they can avoid the potholes that they have the skills and the tools to go through their life with. That inspiration is invitation for us to step up in our own lives no matter what our struggle is. It is illuminating. The heart and the soul is ignited. The spirit takes flight and the mind knows what it needs to know. Each one of these people have discovered their instrument in life. And when I bring them together for you, we're creating an orchestra that is resonating out in invitation and illumination for others. I love what I do. I love who I have become in doing what I do. This is my beingness. People I get to meet, the people I get to honor and celebrate, the people I get to support. Organizations, foundations, individuals, solopreneurs, entrepreneurs, small businesses, large spokespeople, even government people, many business people. I honor you and I thank you for coming and sharing your story here with us. And I look forward to so many more. Yes, we have turned into a pay site in the sense that if, unless you are an organization or a foundation or philanthropic, uh, which will be covered by self-discovery community, we do charge to do these shows uh, to interview you because we are needing, obviously, to pay for the services in order to be able to bring them to you. One day I hope to win a magic wand and not charge anybody, but the business hat has to go on. And that is that next stage. So I invite you to come and see what we're doing. Selfdiscoverymedia.com, selfdiscoverycommunity.org. If you want to be a part of it, want to be interviewed, want to um, be a part of the directory, want to do a part of a book, uh, want to be a host, please just contact me at info at selfdiscoverymedia.com info at selfdiscoverymedia.com come and feel what it like what it's like to share someone's story to to hear what people have gone through to see that courage and strength to learn their skills and tools that help them get on the way and just to celebrate humanity in its best and all the wonderful things things that it's doing i hope you feel like i do so inspired, so illuminated, so stoked that it helps you move forward in your life. So thank you for coming and sharing with me. If you followed me all this time, blessings, I love you. If you're new to the game, please come and investigate. Suss out, put in the search engine some topics that you're looking for and see what comes up in the shows. Just do some investigation. We're a library, Orchard of Wisdom, Wisdom Library, ready for the clicking. There's so much here. And the very best way to learn is from those that have taken the journey before you. They've been there. They've done that. These are the tools that they've learned to help get through. And they're now passing them on to you. Isn't that the greatest gift? So thank you very much for following me. 
for listening to us, for supporting us. Don't forget we have a donation button there. If you wish to support us financially, it will be greatly honored. 10% always goes into the fund action. And we thank you very, very much for being here. And don't forget to share these shows. Share them so others may enjoy the wisdom. Why not have a show party? Everybody listen to one show and then discuss it afterwards. You'd be surprised how it opens people up to things that you never knew that they were hiding. So folks, until next time, happy anniversary to me and to the next seven years. Bye for now. We hope that you enjoyed the show. To hear more of these wonderful shows on selfdiscoverymedia.com, just look up our podcast genre list. You will see many shows archives there ready for listening. Don't forget to share these wonderful shows. And if you wish to be a guest or a host, or you have an organization that needs to be highlighted, contact us at info at selfdiscoverymedia.com. Bye for now.